Good morning, everybody. Another day and another set of drill results for you from Sunday Creek. Uh, this is sounding like a broken record, but here we go again. Three holes, uh, hole 162, 164, and also 159. 162 was the highlight intersection. It hit 3.9 metres at 124.6 grams gold. It uh, was a 28 metre down dip expansion from previous high grade drilling. Uh, that will be coming in front of you right now. You can see that uh, we're hitting high grade drill hole after high grade drill hole. That's one vein set there uh, that uh, is called RS17. It's one of over 70 vein sets that we have. And we're showing you the high grade core uh, that is has been defined with very specific geology, very similar geology oriented in all the same direction. Um, and it's those very high grade cores, the white bits that you can see actually there that the old timers mine with the lower grade halos around it. In total, hole 162 hit eight known vein sets with three high grade cores plus four more new vein sets. And that's a key point is we're infill drilling here. We're getting more data and we're finding more vein sets where we haven't drilled before into those gaps. So uh, it's a, it's really adding ounces upon ounces, if you like, in this drilling that is a great upside and surprise for us. So we hit the 10th highest grade intersection or the 10th, 10th best intersection in the deposit in hole 162. Um, it had the seventh highest grade individual assay. We hit over 2,000 grams, 2,110 grams gold over a thin intersection. So very, very, very encouraging all round. Hole 164 was drilled at Apollo. It was drilled at an opposite uh, direction that we've normally drilled Apollo from the west to the east. It hits seven mineralized vein sets and one new vein set. It showed some very high grades of gold. Um, so we're starting to see better grades as we're infilling at Apollo. And it also demonstrated some very high grade antimony, uh, antimony grades associated with very high grade gold. So up to 21.6% antimony but uh, that high-grade gold, high-grade antimony that we see in the upper parts of the deposit was certainly well demonstrated in hole 164. And then in hole 159, we, uh, we did something a bit different. We, we didn't really understand what was happening around the old Gladys mine area, which is on the western side of Apollo. The Gladys mine has the longest vein set or rung that was mined. It was mined for over 104 metres, so a very long uh, extension, strike extension to that vein. Now we had 50, 60, 70 metres to the north, an area called Root Hog, an old shaft that we couldn't understand why it was so far further north than, than the rest of the workings around Gladys and Apollo. Well, this goes a little bit of a way to explain it. We've seen another fault offset and it's created a 60 metre strike of the host that we didn't actually know existed. And, and as that dips to the north, that just may be what Root Hog was trying to test, at least some of those rungs uh, between the rails of the ladder. So we're finding new zones. We're infilling and seeing it hang together. We're extending zones as we're getting more definition and uh, finding new areas. So the infill drill strategy is delivering results. Um, we're seeing some very high grades of antimony also, which uh, is highly encouraging in this antimony constrained Western world. So all up, again, multiple messages uh, in one press release. Uh, we've got a hell of a lot uh, ongoing, a lot of operational momentum, 20 holes are being processed, another eight with eight active drill rigs drilling. We have an over a 200 kilometer drill program now through to Q127. We have, a, we have $170 million in the treasury to support that amongst other uh, aspects. We're doing a lot of pre-permitting work or about to put the permit work plan in for the decline that uh, will 
uh, traverse 1.4 kilometres into the ground, about 170 or 80 metres vertical depth, which will really speed up the drilling even more. So, so much happening here as we de-risk this pro project and, and make it bigger. Uh, Sunday Creek is such a wonderful deposit and it's only getting better.